Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay tuned. We'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Hello, good evening to you, and part of the story here is the Albite Stadium by night, 60,000 capacity here. I'm Derek Ray, and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Portugal facing Ghana. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. Number 16, Here's how it looks for Portugal. Rui Patricio begins in goal. Joao Cancelo starts with Rafael Guerrero as fullbacks. Bruno Fernandes plays alongside Ruben Neves in the center of midfield. And leading the line today is Cristiano Ronaldo. And here's the Ghana starting 11. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. is underway very quick thinking there Ronaldo shot attempted and a decent save full credit So the corner played into the box. Not the best clearance. Well, they can keep possession now. You know, when Ronaldo is on the pitch, we tend to think he'll stamp his authority on the game, Stuart. What in particular do you expect to see from him this time around? Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Good movement. Firing it in. Well, a nearly moment just over the top. Well, prior to the last 20 years, Portugal were infrequent visitors to the World Cup. All that has changed. We always expect them to be there. And frankly, we expect them to be involved in the business end of the tournament. Well, we know they have good players. In fact, very good players. They've also got a coach that knows how to win football matches. And they can... It has to be! What a block! What a genuine opportunity. But it was squandered. Goal kick.
Ziku. Idrisu Baba. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. And space here on the flank. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Thomas Partey. Suremana. Well, not hard to read that pass. Can they hit on the break? Well, it was a good counter-attack in the making, but very alert defending. Both stats tell you everything. A tight and cagey game without enough goal mouth action. Both teams need to get more players forward if they're to pose a real threat. Really good challenge. Are you? Making progress. And no worries for the goalkeeper. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. And with that, the first half draws to a close. All very subdued from Diogo Jota. Stuart, we know he can play a lot better than this. Well, he's been very quiet so far. He just hasn't got away from his marker. He needs to find a spark from somewhere and start testing this goalkeeper. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Jota, given away by Ronaldo. Abdul Rahman Baba. And it's a quality pass. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Who's going to get on the end of it? Amate. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Are you? Big chance! Well, that was easy on the eye, and he didn't miss by much. Well, that's how to counter-attack. They did it with such pace. Just couldn't finish it off. Ruben Neves. Giving the ball away. Ronaldo. Real chance. Oh, clean through. But he's missed it. Well, it's a massive chance, but he never really looked in control, did he? business on this occasion well didn't go to plan in the end this might be ideal for the counter will it be sufficiently imaginative and they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move a quarter of an hour remaining here Ruben Dias Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? Neves. On to Bruno Fernandes. 
Cancelo. That's not a bad ball. Well, full marks to him for that header, but the goalkeeper did his job. Fernandes. It's with Joao Cancelo. Neves. On to Jota. Cancelo. Oh, breezing past him. And Cristiano Ronaldo waiting. And a goal! At this stage of the game, it might be decisive. And just look at their supporters. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And then what a finish by Ronaldo. He just seems to have a great understanding of where to place himself in the box. That's a very good goal. has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board and the final whistle here a real sense of feel good in the Portuguese camp on the back of this victory Stuart yes Derek well it could have gone either way couldn't it it's so competitive for much of the game but they kept pushing kept believing and probably deserved the winner in the end a great result well, no getting away from it. The real catalyst for his side tonight, Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, I thought he had a good all-round performance today, only emphasised by the late winner. An extremely important moment, and boy, did he deliver.